blessings and blessings. Oh, oh, my name is Preston Smiles and I help people get free from the inside out regardless of their external circumstances. And today's transmission is about spiritual hygiene. You see, oftentimes people approach and talk to me and ask me how. How do you hold such a firm line and boundary and container? Why aren't you afraid of vampires and X, Y, and Z? And I remind them that for me, when I think about God, when I think about the infinite intelligence that created all, I don't believe that intelligence has nor will ever make a mistake and that goes for the most beautiful stuff we can name and the most ugly, atrocious thing we can name. Now with that said, I don't think there's two powers, I think there's one. That God, that infinite intelligence, that divine orchestration is just one power. And so if someone or some entity has the power, I am not a victim to that entity. I also have the power. Follow me, go back. No mistakes infinite, omnipresent, omnipotent God, one power. All of us, all of us can use that power. So for me, whether it's plant medicine ceremonies, whether it is uh, haters on the internet and vampires and X, Y, and Z, I purposely, consciously say, Nobody gets to come inside of here unless I invite you. This is invitation only. So if we're going to have a conversation with God or the gods or the guides, it's because I'm inviting you into my world. But you don't get to walk in. The door is locked. There is a German Shepherd and a Rottweiler outside barking. There are machine guns sitting in the windows. You don't get to come in here because I say so. Now, now, just let that land for a moment. I say so. There's a conviction, there's a faith, there's a knowingness that it hasn't made a mistake. And so the leaves on the trees outside of this window right now, every one of those is supposed to be here just like I'm supposed to be here. And uh, the, 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 the tree grows and produces fruits and flowers and vegetables, not to keep it for itself, but to give them away to the ecosystem. So I, we, you, we grow. Hmm. We tune in, we tap in, we get and allow ourselves to be the strongest versions of ourselves. And then we give that gift to others. We receive as well, because it's all a divine orchestration. There's all flow occurring in this process. But what we don't do is allow people slash entities slash anything to enter our space. You decide. You decide. So your homework, I'm challenging you to do a ceremony around your energy. Those of you who say, I'm empathic, I'm so empathic, I feel everything. Yes, so do I. And I cannot. I can say those, these, hmm, nope. Your energy, right? Some of you, you're around people and their energy enters your space and you're, you're taken back by them. Why don't you not? Play with that idea. What if you were so powerful that you could not be affected by their energy? What if your energy is just as big? What if you get to choose what you allow in and out? Because the other way you are a victim to them, them. Oh, their energy, they are vampires, I'm a victim. How does that feel? 
probably not great. And I say that with so much empathy and compassion. So this is a battle cry. This is a, a reminder that you too have the power. You too have the power and you get to decide. Blessings and blessings. Leave a comment below if this landed. If you disagree, just talk. Tell me what's going on for you. What are you hearing? What's landing? What's alive? Yes, it's so good. So good because we say so to be alive. And so it is dot com dot edu dot org. I love you. I love you. I love you. Rawr!